So what about this third energy package? What about it? It discriminates. It is non-discriminatory. It discriminates. No, it does not. It does? No, in the European Union we have one set of rules for every company in our internal market. The rules discriminate against Russian companies. No, the rules are the same for every company in Europe. That is not the case. As I said, the third energy package is non-discriminatory. It discriminates. No, it's non-discriminatory. Your third energy package will lead to property confiscation. Gazprom will have to give up its pipelines in Europe. No, they will not. The rules will apply to any company active in the European Union. They are in compliance with the WTO World Trade Rules. We want to be a member of the WTO. So Gazprom must allow other gas producers to use their pipelines in Europe. We are the biggest supplier of natural gas to Europe. We do not want Gazprom property to be privatized. Full implementation of your energy package will lead to an increase of energy prices in the European market. Is that a threat? I'm just saying it will lead to higher energy prices in Europe. The third energy package will lead to more competition in Europe with lower prices for consumers as a result. It will be a serious threat to economic growth. More competition is good for Europe. We don't like monopolies. We don't like it. It is approved legislation. There is nothing you can do about that. We still don't like it. We love Russian gas. We really need it. And we love selling it to you. So then we agree. And before I forget, we in Europe expect Russia to respect its international commitments in the field of human rights.